Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting blog post to dive into, RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation with Llama Index, Elasticsearch and Mistral, written by Srikant Manvi on Elasticsearch Labs. The goal today will be to create a simple RAG application, which you can follow along, that can help answer questions from any data set of your choice. We'll explore using the RAG technique with Elasticsearch as a vector database leveraging Llama Index and running a local Mistral LLM with Olama. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. Step one, let's download and install Olama. That'll, that'll then help us run Mistral. So go ahead and click right here. You can go ahead and download based on the operating system of your choice. I have downloaded it and unzipped it on my desktop. So now I can go ahead and <clears throat> run Mistral. From my desktop. So once I do that, uh, as you can see, I've already run it. So I can now ask it just, and you can do this too, just to test whether it's running properly. So write a poem on clouds maybe for for example, and you can let this run in. Step two, let's go ahead and install Elasticsearch. So you can follow along with the cloud deployment instructions right here. And once you do that, you can now go ahead and store your cloud ID, which you can obtain by copying from here in your deployment. And then we would also need the API key. So for that, for getting the API key inside your deployment, you can actually go into Stack Management, Security, API Keys, and then create an API key. And you can use, uh, you, can, you can choose the user API key and allow the expiration date to be unchecked. And then make sure that you grab that and store that somewhere. Alrighty, let's create our RAG application. For reference, the entire code can be downloaded from this GitHub repo. And cloning the repo is optional as we will be going through the code. You can create a folder with your favorite IDE and create three files in it, index.py, query.py, and .n for storing all of your environment variables. Now, we'll need to install a few packages. And we begin by creating a new Python and virtual environment here. So let's create a new terminal window and let's navigate to our desktop. So as you can see uh, in the root of my RAG application, uh, which is the name I've given to the folder where I'll be creating my RAG. Um, I can now choose to create those three applications, uh, the, those three files. And I've chosen to use, uh, the, I've created the three files here. So index.py, query.py, and the .m file. And now I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow along this tutorial which asks me to set up the virtual environment in the root folder of your application. So let me go ahead and copy this. What this does is that it'll just set up uh, the virtual environment and now we need to activate it using this command. So let's go ahead and follow best practices and create this. So now that we have the virtual environment set up, what we can do is follow along and install all of these different packages. Now this may take a little bit of time, but let's get this running. So while this is running, what I'll do is uh, give you an overview of what we're doing here. So if you scroll up to the high level flow, imagine a scenario where we have a sample data set and all of the conversations are in this JSON file called conversations. Uh, and these have conversations between agents and customers of a fictional 
home insurance company. And we are building a simple RAG application, which can answer questions like, give me a summary of all the water related issues. And you have already completed step one and two here, which is to run the Mistral large language model locally using Olama and installing Elasticsearch. Now we are building the RAG application, which will index our conversations data into Elasticsearch where we will store the vector embeddings along with our conversations. We will configure our ingest pipeline. And in the final step, we'll query our conversations data to get valuable insights from it. All righty. And all of, these, uh, all of this is done by Elasticsearch, which does a semantic search in the background. And the top key relevant conversations are provided to the LLM, to the locally running LLM to generate an answer. Awesome. Now let's get back and your package installations should have completed by now. So it's perfect time for the next step, which is indexing data. All right, now let's download the conversations.json, which we just spoke about. So you can right click this and you can download the conversations file from here. And this file basically contains the call center conversations. And you can place this file in the root of your um, a folder which you created on your desktop. And when you review the file, you'll notice the conversation field has details of the customer issue right here. Let's write a function in, in, in our file, which we created earlier, index.py, to read this JSON file and create document objects. So as you can see, this index.py will basically define a function called get documents from file. All it does is to read the JSON file and create a list of documents the basic information, unit of information that Llama index will work with. At this point, you can open your .env file and paste the cloud ID, as well as the API key, which you had saved earlier. And as a reminder, you can get it right from here. Great. Now that you have populated your end file right here, let's finish the index.python file. So in this part of the code, we will configure our Llama index ingest pipeline to chunk store embeddings in the vector store. So this is where it is doing that. We are configuring that uh, and that ingest pipeline here. And Llama Index lets you compose a pipeline using multiple components. And we are adding three components to the pipeline, namely the sentence splitter. Each document has a text field with conversation, which is a long piece of text, which we saw earlier right here. So for semantic text, we'll need to break this long piece of text into chunks or smaller, smaller texts. The center, sentence splitter class does this for us, and hence we are using that. Olama embedding, which is right here, it converts uh, a piece of text into numbers, also called vectors. And this allows us to run semantic search where search results match the meaning of the word rather than just doing a text search. Finally, Elasticsearch store takes care of creating and populating the context, contents of the specified Elasticsearch index, which is over here called calls in our case. And we also specify the field in the index where we want the embeddings to be stored. For example, the conversation vector in our case, and the field where we want the we want to store the text conversation in our case. 
Tying it all together, we run the pipeline by calling the pipeline.run. Let's copy this code and run the index.py script to execute the ingest pipeline. We would first need to copy the first part of the code using your favorite IDE, which is right here. Go to your index.py and simply paste it. All this does is create documents. Then we need to copy and paste this part of the code, which we just discussed. And paste it into the same file, which is index.py. Awesome. Once you've done that, let's save this. And now let's run the pipeline. Open the terminal window. Let's clear everything here and run. Once this is completed, we should see a new index in Elasticsearch called calls. Let's head over to Elastic. Let's copy this code right here. In Elasticsearch, we would need to navigate to DevTools under Management. Once you do that, let's copy, let's paste the, the code that we got to see and investigate the calls index that we just created. You can see that the Python program is still running. It's still indexing all of the documents. While that is happening, let's also populate the query logic, which we will look into later. In the querying piece, we define query, uh, we retrieve the relevant documents and query data. We define a local LLM, a local LLM to point to the Mistral model, which is right here, running on Olama. Next, we create a vector store index, which is here. From the ES vector store we created earlier, and we get a query engine from the index. The ES vector store is right here. So we are using that to create that engine, the query engine. While creating the query engine, we refer the local LLM that should be used to respond. And we also supply the similarity, the top K uh, 10 documents in this case to configure the number of documents that should be retrieved from the vector store and sent to the LLM to get the response. So let's copy this and paste this code into our query. And we also give it a query to summarize uh, water issues in this case. Let's save this and let's see how our first query has progressed so far. Awesome, it says done running pipeline. Now let's head over to Elasticsearch, DevTools, and run this query. Awesome, now we can see that the calls index has been created and we also see the conversation vector, which was created. We also see the conversations, the conversation field, which was created. Amazing. So we have everything running. So now we need to next 
run the query.py, query.python script to execute our rack flow. Let's go ahead and do that. All we have to now do is run this query. to get a summary of all of our water-related issues. Let's give it a few seconds here while it's sinking. Amazing. We did it. And as you can see, we have now created a RAG application to answer questions about our call center conversations using Llama Index, Elasticsearch, and a local running Mistral model. This included setting up both querying, indexing mechanisms. Up next, you can dive into more advanced topics like masking PII data before querying a cloud-based or external large language model in the RAG flow, which is already published on the Elasticsearch Labs. Stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.